good morning students the other day i discussed about the meaning of market then i discussed the meaning of marketing and at last i discussed the objectives of marketing today i am going to discuss two things number 1 what do you mean by selling or sales whatsoever might be and then i am going to discuss the difference between marketing and selling okay beta so now i am going to discuss the meaning of selling the other day only i told you what do you mean by sale basically i said whenever you going to write the definition of selling you just take a practical example because you are the buyer and the shopkeeper is the seller and who is selling the goods the shopkeeper is selling that particular goods you think yourself you have been you have been to punam bhaiya's canteen now who is punam bhaiya punam bhaiya is the seller who are you you are the buyer so when you go to punam bhaiya's canteen and you ask for something okay you, you must have been there and you ask punam bhaiya give me a pen punam bhaiya must have given you the pen when you give you the pen after collecting the money from you or not so in exchange of pen what punam bhaiya is taking from you punam bhaiya is taking money from you and as you paid the money what punam bhaiya is doing punam bhaiya is handing over that particular pen to you or not and when punam bhaiya handed over the pen to you is the selling procedures is over or not your answer will be yes so what is happening in selling in selling first thing what is happening there the ownership of the goods have been transferred when it is been transferred after paying money or up in exchange of money you paid money in exchange of money the ownership of that particular pen is transferred from punam bhaiya to you or not so i hope it is clear to you what do you mean by selling selling mein kya kya hota hai beta first things what is happening there in selling that you are exchanging money and in exchange of money what is happening there the tra it transformation of the ownership is been done or ownership is been transferred from one hand to other from the seller to buyer that is what is called selling okay so if you want to write the definition how to write it you can write the way i told you or you can write it like this also selling is the first and foremost selling is first and foremost a transaction between the seller and the prospective buyer so i told you a transaction between you and punam bhaiya who is punam bhaiya punam bhaiya is a seller who are you you are a prospective buyer or you can say a buyer what should you might be where money exchange here also money exchange you given the money to punam bhaiya and uh, for goods or services so money is been exchanged for goods and services as the money is been paid to him the ownership is also been transfer that is what is called selling i hope the meaning of selling is clear to you and already you are knowing the meaning of marketing what is marketing marketing is the process by which you are motivating the prospective buyers to buy the goods or hire the services that is what is called marketing there you are motivating them the prospective buyers to buy a product okay that is what is called marketing so i hope it is clear to you the meaning of marketing and the meaning of selling now i am going to discuss the differences first point three i told you earlier whenever you are going to write the differences beta first thing you write point of distinction that means on the basis of which point you are going to differentiate marketing and selling first point meaning i already told you the meaning what is marketing marketing is the process by which you are motivating the prospective buyers to buy the goods or hire the services on the other hand what is selling selling is the process 
By which what is happening? The ownership of the goods is being transferred in exchange of money or after making the payment. That is what is called selling. Objective of marketing. What is the objective of marketing? Marketing has a long term objective. Because marketing is not only interested that one buyer should buy the goods from once only. So if you ask me what is the objective? Marketing has a long term goals or long term perspectives. On the other hand, what is selling? Selling has a short term goal. Why? This is the product. The product is you give in the market. What is your aim? Kaisa bhi usko bech kar ke hum chal jaye, hamara jhamela khatam. You are not interested in anything else. Kuchhi bhi bujha, samjha bujha ke let me sell this thing. That is why selling has a what means that selling has a short term goal. Marketing has a long term goal or long term perspective orientation. What do you mean orientation? Orientation means marketing deals with whom? Selling deals with whom? That is what is called you know orientation. So marketing what? You always you know it. Marketing is customer oriented. Marketing is what oriented? Customer. So why I told you earlier? The marketing department what they are going to find out? They are going to find out the liking, disliking. And what difficulties and problems the customers are having, and marketing people are always trying their level best to sort out or to solve the problems or the difficulties of the customers or the buyers. So what is happening there? Marketing is customer oriented. On the other hand, selling is product oriented. What do you mean by product oriented? Selling only deals with the particular product. What is there with? Then there are like you have like one of my hand the samosas. He is only interested about his product, the samosa. How he can sell it off and finish it off in the tiffin break time only. Okay, yes or no? So selling deals with product and selling is product oriented. On the other hand, marketing is customer oriented. Now coming scope. Definitely, marketing has a wide scope. Variety of scope they can have. Different methodology, different ways, different means. To motivate the buyer to buy the goods, okay. To bring them in the in their favor in that particular particular product's favor, so they have you know huge scope, or you can say they have a wide scope. On the other hand, selling has a narrow narrow scope because you know, Punam Kapas only singara is there, or maybe with the singara he must have been the jewelry is also there. So his scope is very narrow. Only maybe one or two things he is dealing with. That is why in selling scope is narrow scale. Now coming beginning and end. All of us are knowing. Marketing starts before the product. When any products come into the market, before that only marketing people what they do? They do a research. They find out how many buyers are interested to buy the goods. They try their level best to motivate those particular prospective buyers to buy the goods. And as the Selling also over. Then also they go to the market to find out. Like I given the example of here on the spender, spender plus, you know, on the pro. All those things I explained you so many times. I hope it is clear to you. So marketing begins before the products, and it is a continuous process. Means after selling also it is continuous is going on. On the other hand, selling is what? What is it? Beginning after the product, and it ends as the product is being sold out. So these are the differences between marketing and selling. So what marketing? Marketing start before the products and end. It is a continuous process. There is no end in it. In place of selling, it begin after the production and ends with the sale. I hope it is clear to you. So today I discuss only the meaning of selling and then I discuss the difference between marketing and selling. Now, while I am doing the revision of different chapters, beta, I am only dealing with the prescribed syllabus or the reduced syllabus what has been given by the council this year. Only those topics what are there in the reduced syllabus revision time. I am only dealing with those points. I am not dealing with other points during the revision time. Okay, thank you, thank you so much.